Recently, this multiplex fun cub had an unscheduled encounter with terra firma, which has resulted in the motor shaft being bent. If I carefully start it up. You can clearly see that it's out of true. Let's take a look and see if we can straighten this guy out. Disassembling the motor, not too difficult. In front of the bearing on the shaft here, there was a circlip and a couple of shims. Having removed that, gently tap on the end and remove the shaft and the bell housing here. I did remove the set screw which was holding this in and try and tap that out, but it didn't want to go anywhere. I guess it's glued in, but I don't think that's going to affect what I'm going to try and do. Looking at the shaft then just roughly with a square, I'm not sure if you can see that, but uh, the bend, not surprisingly, starts where the groove for the circlip is and is bending over in that direction. What to do then? My idea is to chuck this part into my drill press and then we shall be able to see the amount of movement of the bell housing and give it the appropriate tweak. Let's see how we get on. In my drill press then I've chucked the shaft and bell housing. I have my dial gauge support and my indicator here which is just about touching the outside of the bell. If I now rotate it you can see the gap opening until that's probably the widest part and then it comes back in again. Therefore when it's at this point here what we need to do is to try and gently bend it back the other way. What I will probably need to do is to put some grips on the bell housing so that I can get more leverage on that. Let me mess around with that for a while and we'll come back. After a few attempts then, now when I turn the bell, I'm not sure how it's going to come out on camera but there is very little difference that I can see in the gap there. If I move the pointer out a little Perhaps we can see. I think that's about as close as uh, I'm going to get. I do have a, a dial indicator that I could put on there and try that, but I think I'll reassemble the motor now and we'll see what sort of vibration we get or not, hopefully. By the way, the easiest way I found to bend the shaft back was within my case, uh, this scriber, which I'll push down until it passes through the bell housing there. And I'm not going to do it for obvious reasons, but then you can get quite a good purchase on there and bend it in the direction you desire. A quick check before applying any power. I've lined up my pointer with the tip of the propeller there. If I just rotate it to the next one, I'm not seeing any difference there. Uh, that's good news. That out of the way. Transmitter on. Welcome to OpenTX. Let's gingerly power it up. seeing a little bit of movement on the end of the spinner there but I think it may be the spinner itself that's damaged. I think this is hollow, it's not solid and I'm not sensing, I'm not feeling any great vibration on the fuselage. I think that will work for me for the next few flights at least. Uh, if I experience any vibrational problems then clearly it'll be time to buy a new motor. Thanks for watching.